the problem in all developing countries with non-family managers is, is, is trust and linked to that basically theft. So, uh, you know, I have a family firm, let's say, I have two sons and my brother. So the four of us, it's always men. So it's not only family members, it's male family members. So the four of us run the firm. Imagine we're doing really well. We're generating loads of money. We want to open up another firm. I ask you to, you know, uh, some other managers to come run the firm. The big problem is typically I may find them stealing stuff. Now, in America, if you found them stealing stuff, you take them to court, you prosecute them, you throw them in prison, you take back their assets, you'd seize their house, fine. So as a result, they probably wouldn't steal in advance. I mean, there's theft in America, but less so. In India, the court system is so slow, you can't take them to court. And everybody knows that. So the problem is the threat, if you catch somebody stealing, is frankly pretty weak. And as a result, plus the fact they're badly managed, it's hard to catch them. So the combination of making it hard to catch them, plus there's not much comeback if you get caught stealing, means outsiders tend to steal. Therefore, families never trust them. So always it's family members running the firm. And in fact, when you ask them, you know, even what about cousins? What about second cousins, sons-in-law? Even there, they're very nervous. Uh, you know, one of them said cousins. They're the worst. <laughs> Never trust cousins. Uh, and I asked about son-in-law. So he said, well, you know, I can get really angry with my son, but I can't get angry with my son-in-law without breaking up my wife's marriage. So that creates serious problems because you're only relying on family members. And that also generates this huge spread. You know, some people are brilliant managers. They have fantastic firms. Others, they have two kids and both, you know, only one son and the guy's okay, but not great. The firm's going to be okay, but not great.